Don't worry. After the intro, I will tell you what Project for Awesome is. But for now, let's just laugh. <laughs> So Project for Awesome, it is a thing that happens every year on December 17th in which all the YouTube community or a lot of the YouTube community gets together and makes videos about a charity and we all like and favorite and comment each other's to make sure everyone gets noticed. It was started by the Vlog Brothers. These guys, they wear glasses, they vlog, they're brothers, and this this is them. If you don't know who they are, that's fine. You're probably busy looking at lolcats or something. That. It's, that's important work too. Anyway, you can donate to one of these charities that are promoted or you could donate directly to the Project for Awesome on their website. I will link all that stuff doobly-doo style. I've shaved P4A in my chest hair for this project and I never shave anything. Well, I trim my beard, but I don't shave it all the way off. If you donate directly to Project for Awesome, it will go to a good cause. Trust me, watch, here's some money. Huh? Boom! One of them landed in my girlfriend's shoe. Proper footwear, that's a good cause. One of them also landed in the whale tank, and the whale needed some money for uh, plankton. I owed him because I ate some of his plankton. I thought that's what planking was. So I want to talk a little bit about apathy. Why donate anything? The world sucks anyway, you know? Not true. In the news, especially recently, we hear a lot of bad stuff that happens. But we don't hear about the not bad stuff that happens. No one's running news stories about how Gary Smitherton uh, didn't get robbed today. Or how much poverty Josh la last namesville isn't in. It's a lot easier and more sensational to report on the bad stuff because a lot of times the good stuff isn't even a story. But how do we get to the good stuff? How do we reduce crime and poverty and, and increase health? Usually I think it's by small improvements over time. And how does that happen? From you and I and from the attitudes of everyone in what we value and how we convince others to value these good things. That's why every little bit counts. That's why if you are able you should probably find something that you think is a good thing and give a little money to it. It's so easy to say, oh, the world's just full of jerks anyway. If you say that and it allows you to not do anything, then that means you might be one of those jerks. And it contributes to an attitude of not getting anything done and then bad things stay bad. Let's test it out. I made an apathy clone and I spilled some salsa on that table. Hey, apathy clone, can you clean up that table? What's the point? Just gonna go to the alligator pit anyways. You see? True, I was going to send him to the alligator pit, but it was going to be a bunch of time later, and now that table's never going to be clean, because I ain't going to do it. It'll just get dirty again. Actually, I can clean it up. I'm cleaning and eating at the same time! Two birds with one stone. That expression's morbid. Are people just going around throwing stones at birds, and then when you get two with one, it's like, yes! Oh, I saved so much time and stone. Maybe the saying should be changed to, like, two orcs with one Gandalf. Two evil birds with one good bird that shoots lasers out of its eyes. Two beers in one giant beer mug. Two wars with one peace treaty. Two eagles with one stone. I like that. I don't like eagles. Two fasts, one furious. Two birds who are suffering in old age but have lived a good life. One veterinarian who will put them down. That's the one. Anyway, that's why it's valuable to donate. What am I gonna donate to today? I'm donating to water.org. They sent me to India earlier this year, member. <laughs> I went around to a bunch of slums that they have helped get toilets and running water. I've seen how they work and I've seen that it works. They're funding a process that can sustain itself. The people they help in the small villages get water more quickly, free up time for them to sell things through a trade like making clothes because they don't have to walk forever carrying water on top of their heads from a river that in some cases is filled with animal feces or people feces. So they're able to continue to pay to maintain the water that they're getting. India is, is 1.2 billion people, four times as many as are in the US. A lot of it seems like an organizational problem and water.org is helping organize. At least that's how I see it. But you could also check out all the charities being promoted by Project for Awesome or you could donate directly to Project for Awesome. See this? New pillows. I know they're overshadowed by the even newer couch, but I got new pillows on the couch. Getting rid of this pillow, the one that I slept on out on the street outside. One of you could get it if you donate $20 to Project for Awesome. And my girlfriend China and I are making Christmas cards with pictures of us wearing terrible Christmas sweaters. We've already given away 100 of them to people who have donated $20 to Project for Awesome. We're giving away 200 more, or however many are left by the time this video is uploaded. Go to the Indiegogo campaign linked in the doobly-doo and you can donate 20 bucks and possibly get this. So please, if you can, donate to something. Now let's laugh again for no reason. <laughs> I'm clean. I'm cleaning. Maybe I'm making more of a mess, actually. <laughs>